Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here with one of my favorite authors, David Cloud. He's not just one of my favorite authors, he's got one of my favorite websites, the uh, Way of Life, O Timothy website. And uh, I just Google search David Cloud and it comes up, so I'm not, you know, it's Way of Life literature. But this is a tour de force, this is a mammoth tome on the Bible. He's a big King James defender, Textus Receptus defender. You know, and a lot of people don't know that within the King James movement, there is a huge amount of diversity. You've got some that are, you know, majority text. There's some that are Textus Receptus. There's some that are Byzantine text. There are some that are King James only. There's some that would be, you know, whatever translations the Textus Receptus is in, on and on. So, like, uh, he and Peter Ruckman would have had big dis disagreements and uh, D.A. White with the Dean Bergon Society would have disagreements and Edward F. Hills wouldn't believe exactly maybe like David Cloud. The way I look at it is they're all defending the truth even if it's for the most part and so I guess in those things I'm kind of a big tent guy. Now I do believe the King James Version is the Word of God for English speaking people. It is the truth. I believe it's perfect. That's just me. And then we can get debate what the term perfect means. But uh, faith versus, this is the blind leading the blind, faith versus modern Bible versions. And he is a scholar of, you know, the top notch of the top shelf. Um, he does an enormous amount of research and just because he may not have a PhD or something, he's very holiness minded. He's got great books on Christians and clothing, but he's got, he just does an immense amount of work. He's very against uh, worldliness, very much again into holiness. He's got uh, things on biblical geography, biblical doctrine. And so he is able to get historical resources I have never seen, never heard of. I'll just show you, this is kind of, I write myself notes, you know, in the front of books. This is, I was turning down pages here, but I got like Robert Dick Wilson there, the man who learned 46 languages. He learned 45, he was New English, uh, to defend the Bible's veracity tenfold defense of the King James Bible. <coughs> um, we hold the King James Bible because modern versions are built upon a foundation of deception. That's true. And especially, this was before Sinaiticus and Vaticanus were really shown to be forgeries. And so he's already saying that um, we hold the King James Bible because evangelical scholarship is unreliable. That's true. We hold to the King James Bible because we reject the majority text approach. And uh, so this is just excellent. Modern text and versions have produced the fruit of carelessness, which is true. So uh, let's see how many pages is in this book. This is like 773 pages pages 775 modern bible versions the dark secret by jack mormon 356 doctrinal errors in the niv and other modern versions that's by bft the gnostics the new versions and the deity of jesus that's by jp green who did the king james 2 so that would be excellent edward f hills had a doctorate in New Testament textual studies from Harvard. Uh, King James Version defended. Modern Bible Version Hall of Shame. The Revision Revised. See, if you've ever read like Dean Bergon stuff and J.P. Green stuff and Hill stuff, it's kind of like irrefutable. I'm like, one thing I found is a lot of people who criticize these people have never really read their stuff. And uh, even if they just read it to like pull out errors, they're not reading it from cover to cover. <laughs> And it's the same way with evolution, creation. I just think people's never given it a fair shake. So this is a great book, Faith versus the Modern Bible Versions. I believe God inspired His Word and He kept it. And I believe this is the inspired Word of God. I don't think inspiration just sticks to the original autographs. I think this is the inspired Word of God. It is the true Word of God. It's the perfect Word of God. And uh, I pray you believe that too. 
God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name.